Second game of our doubleheader about to get underway now. Millward going to take the jump ball there with William Cardi. It's a tall center right there. He'll be guarded by Jackson Fitzpatrick for the night. Definitely going to be a physical matchup down low. As the 5-3 and three Watertown Red Raiders walk into Charbonneau Fieldhouse. They'll get it started with the triple from Aiden Didokovic. Wakefield right now is trying to bounce back after a 15-point loss against Burlington. Widest margin they've lost by to this point in the season. Because we get a great pass there from Diari Burton to Jackson Fitzpatrick on that pick and roll. Something they've been running really well this season. Wakefield had a tough time adjusting to defensive pressure last game. That time, getting to what they're good at against defensive pressure, weaving their way through the paint. Dodokovic out high. He'll take another three. That one all glass. Millward with the step through and the nice finish. Jack Millward clean on that coast to coast. Averaging 18 points a game for the Warriors so far this season as Diari Burton with that good steal from behind. McDermott gonna take it straight to the basket and it'll roll through for him. Aggressive move there from Jackson McDermott. Hit another season high last game with nine points. Went three of four from deep range. That time getting busy inside. see the sole captain Jeffrey Herbin number one with the ball there he'll take a step from way beyond and hit that one another triple goes for Watertown as they have opened it up from deep range Jari Burton back with the ball now where he's moving it around open in the corner is Beaver couldn't get that one to go. McDermott with the board, it'll get taken away. Now Herbin being guarded up by Burton. Looking for a screen. Goes the other way from it. He'll pull up. That one no good. Millward with his second board of the game. Beaver out to Burton. He'll take the space to drive. Cross-court pass, Millward can't hit it, but an offensive rebound thanks to Fitzpatrick's hustle. And we'll get a stoppage here as the shot clock reset after that air ball when it shouldn't have. We're at 18 on the clock now. Beaver, the pull up from deep, won't get his second shot from out there to go. He's had a drop in efficiency on the offensive end these last couple of games, trying to get himself back going. Gabayan inside, fouled by McDermott. He'll get the first two free throw attempts of the game. Looks like Connor Mari is getting ready to check in. He's been a great bench source for Wakefield this year, averaging eight as the sixth man. As McDermott will take a seat after picking up his first foul. Bayan misses that second one. Now rebounds, go out of bounds. Herbin was the last to touch it. Watertown bringing a lot of pressure out high in this 2-3 zone. 
Wakefield just trying to pass their way around it. Beaver gives out to Marriott. He'll take the shot and hit it. Carter Marriott with his first shot of the game. That one will go through. Warriors up 9-7 to seven now. Herbin going to pull up from mid-range off back iron. Beaver with the jab. Steph gives over to Fitzpatrick. Miller going to take the space he's given back to Beaver. 0 for 3 from 3 now. Millward and Burton now moving inside. Goodbye in with that good work. Getting in the passing lane. Lobosier gives it in. And getting fouled there was Cardi. Fitzpatrick's going to pick up his first. Surprisingly, they haven't forced that matchup more early, seeing that Cardi has a significant height advantage. Cardi, one or two from the line there. Wakefield still having a tough time dealing with this pressure from Watertown. Millward dribbles off his own foot. The turnover, Dodokovic dumps it back. Good block there from Beaver, just staying with Herbin. Now pushing the pace, Mario going to give it to Burton. Beaver almost lost it, dumps it into Fitzpatrick, and that'll be a held ball. Staying with Wakefield. Watertown so far looking scrappy. Keeping in the game with Wakefield extremely well. We're gonna get a timeout here from the Warriors trying not to get a five second violation on their own baseline. Just nine to eight right now in Wakefield's favor. Two minutes left to go in the first. <laughs> Marius sets the inbound after that Wakefield timeout. Warriors still having a tough time moving against this pressed zone defense of Watertown. As we get some great passing there. Marriott with the fake. Gets himself open. He'll miss it though. Beaver with the offensive rebound and the shot by Burton. That'll go. Diari Burton getting himself started from deep range. And that's a good sign to see from the senior captain. Slow down a little bit in the previous game against Burlington. Definitely looking solid on offense so far with that triple and the assist to start the game. Goodbye and gets it inside. Dodokovic from way deep hits front iron. Just too tall is Cardi with the rebound. He'll get in and get fouled. So I'll be the second on Fitzpatrick. As it looks like Kevin DeGray is going to come into the game. Fitzpatrick likely going to take a seat. Don't want to get him in foul trouble too early. But just 40% of the way to a foul out. He'll have to come out for the rest of the first at least. DeGray got some time last game 
against Burlington, just trying to add some offensive spark, went one for two from deep range. Definitely a good shooter. We'll see what he can add to Wakefield at this moment as they still try to deal with Cardi on the offensive end. Millward with the drive, working through defenders, and a great high touch from Jack Millward there. Somehow found that angle off the glass. Wakefield ahead by four right now, final minute of the first. Wabosier moves it to Gabayan. Dzokovic, another triple, won't go. Now Burton resets near midcourt. Millward, a mid-range pull-up. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound for Herbin. And he'll slow it down. Watertown going to wait for the final shot of the corner. We got 10 seconds left. We'll get a foul on Matt Beaver, it seems. Not sure what that was. Seems his assignment is Cardi. So just 10 seconds. Four fouls in this period for Wakefield. A foul right here would give Watertown two free throws no matter what. Cardi with the float. No good on that touch. And Miller got the rebound. That foul was almost called, but the period ended. Wakefield up 14-10 after one. Definitely going to be a scrappy game all the way through. We'll see if Wakefield has the offensive firepower to get through it. Second quarter getting started now. We're eight minutes through, and Wakefield uh, had a little bit of a tough time offensively in that first quarter, fighting through the pressure from Watertown. On the other end, Watertown is forcing this matchup with Cardi, and he's been drawing fouls like crazy. As you see right there, we'll pick up another. And Matt Beaver's gonna get that one. Kevin DeGray trying to argue that he is the one who picked it up. As Wakefield really trying not to get their big men in foul trouble with this really tough matchup inside. But Beaver has two and Fitzpatrick has two. McDermott's sitting on the bench, I believe, with one. Both free throws there went for Cardi. Millward gets it, DeGray pulling up from mid-range and catches it. Kevin DeGray gets his first shot to go. And that one's a three on the scoreboard right now. It definitely should have been a two as they will set it to that. Lobosier gets it inside to Cardi, kicks it back to Lobosier. He almost loses it. Coach Halpin wants to travel, they won't get it. Herbin, the strong drive inside and a flashy finish. That pass dip, tr tip trying to get it to DeGray. Declan O'Callahan going to come into the game. Jackson Fitzpatrick coming right back in. Beaver will head to the bench with two fouls as well as Connor Marriott. Definitely an atypical lineup for Wakefield. Not sure they've ran this one all year as Millward will take one from way deep. Caught all glass on that. And Gabayan will get the steal. Herbin, guarded up by DeGray. Definitely an unfavorable matchup for Wakefield. Dodokovic gives to Gabayan. Now Dodokovic, Gabayan with the drive, gets fouled by O'Callahan. 
And that's a tough look there. Just a slight bump from O'Callaghan, and Gabayan will go to the line. Free throw a bank through for Goodbye. And game now tied up at 16. Bartown's done a really great job of getting their way inside. Wakefield's had trouble with it. Not wanting to get their centers and power forwards deep in the foul box as DeGray will miss his three. Lebossier blocked by DeGray. I believe that'll be his first block of the season. As Burton gets it to Millward, and he'll get blocked. DeGray kind of poked out of bounds, it'll stay with Wakefield. Burton O'Callahan playing catch outside. Now Marriott left open from deep. Couldn't get it. Millward gets the O board. O'Callahan dumps it to Fitzpatrick. Now Burton from deep. Off back iron. And Wabosier came away with it. Wakefield really getting opportunities from deep. Just haven't been able to capitalize off of them. As Cardi has to dump out to Lebossier, and he'll miss the three. So good defensive possession there for Wakefield, finally figuring out how to stop Cardi in the post. We'll get a foul on the floor there from Watertown. Jackson McDermott going to come back into the game. Jack Millward's going to take a seat. Off that inbound, good steal by Dodokovic. Bartown really played intense defense so far. He's getting backed away there was McDermott. A great shot by Herbin on that step back move. O'Callahan, that high arcing shot, won't go in the corner. Cardi with the board. Watertown with the three point lead now. We've been back and forth all game. Cardi, to spin in the post, he'll get fouled by McDermott. And two more free throws coming. Over two from the line, there goes Cardi. Wakefield hasn't switched to much of a hack a shack strategy yet. But we'll see if that is what they'll turn to against Cardi later, as he has been able to get his way inside so far. Or he's moving it inside out. Millward no good trying to go against Cardi in the offensive rebound and finish from Fitzpatrick as Cardi fell to the floor. Watertown definitely wanted a foul there. But strong finish from Fitzpatrick. Was gonna miss shot from Dodokovic. 
And good job there by Millward tipping that ball to Fitzpatrick on the rebound. Burton with the push shot off run iron. Lebossier dumps it in to Cardi. Now Cardi, Fitzpatrick definitely got a hand on that before he put it up, affecting the shot great without fouling. McDermott on the other end, couldn't finish at full speed. As Watertown's gonna slow the pace down now. Not trying to rush their offense. Herbin with the drive, trying to go over the top. Lobosier with the rebound, gets it ripped away by Fitzpatrick. Great defense from the junior center. McDermott inside to Fitzpatrick. He'll get doubled back to McDermott. That one caught all glass. Not sure if Herbin got a hand on it. And we'll get a turnover there. Dodokovic's pass missed Gabayan. As Marriott and Fitzpatrick can take a seat, Beaver and DeGray will come back in. Beaver giving out to DeGray. He'll pull from deep. Couldn't get it. Cardi with the board. Watertown still leading by one, just over a minute to go in this second quarter. Lebossier holds it outside. Now Herbin thought about the three, now he'll take it and cash it. Jeffrey Herbin with his third triple of this first half. That'll put Watertown ahead by four. Some tough shots from the sole senior captain of the Red Raiders. Shot no good there from McDermott. The Warriors are struggling in the final stretch of this first half on offense. DeGray is gonna be guarding up Herbin as Watertown's gonna hold for the final shot of this first half. DeGray fouls him way out there. Warriors got four in the quarter. Currently, the Warriors hold with eight fouls compared to just one total for Watertown. May look lopsided, but the Warriors haven't exactly attacked the basket at the rate that Watertown has. And that's how they've been able to draw, draw so many fouls. Is Dodokovic gonna drive on to Gray. He'll put that shot up, won't go, gets his own rebound. And they'll say he got fouled by Millward to end this first half. He'll get two free throws with no time on the clock. Coach Halpin trying to argue that it wasn't a natural shooting motion from Dodokovic as he'll cash that first one. So both free throws go down for Dodokovic. He'll look at the Wakefield crowd as Watertown goes into the locker room up by six. At halftime, Warriors gonna have to come out with a whole new mentality in these third and fourth quarters if they want to come away with it.
Second half about to get started. Wakefield trailing by six. Got outscored 14 to four in that second quarter. Really, really slowed down on offense as it seems Watertown took off with the shooting of Jeffrey Herbin and the inside work from William Cardi. Wakefield are gonna have to make some significant adjustments in this second half to shut them down as losing the ball right there and a turnover for the Warriors. Miller dribbled off his own foot. Three no good there from Gabayan. Yari Burton with the ball. He only had two shots in that first half. Wakefield really want to get the ball in his hands more, as well as Millwards, as he missed the shot there. Seems like Watertown did a great job of keeping the ball out of the hands of the Wakefield Stars. Lebosier using the screen from Cardi, the float shot. That one had bounced out. Coach Halpin telling his team to run the floor, something Wakefield struggled with last game was getting into their sets. Almost every player acknowledged it as McDermott gets his own rebound, puts it back up and in. And that'll get the scoring started in this second half. Something Wakefield really needed was getting into the paint area. Seems like Cardi's controlled it all night. It's got a steal there from Fitzpatrick that Lazily floated pass from Lobosier. Now Burton with it, gets it to Fitzpatrick inside. Fitzpatrick, the turnaround shot gets blocked by Cardi. That ball poked away. Burton, good, good job there, guarding up Herbin. Lebosier, left alone, couldn't hit it. Wayfield really got to push the floor as that pass was tipped out of bounds by Gabayan. We'll stay with the Warriors. Fifteen seconds left on the shot clock for Wakefield. As Burton's going to take the drive there, going right at Cardi. And a smooth finish from the left hand to the right. Cardi across the timeline. He'll give to Herbin as the Warriors move to a 2-3 zone. Gabayan, easy shot inside was missed. And the and one finish there on the follow for Cardi. As he just keeps using his height to his advantage, there's nothing the Warriors can do. Definitely a tough assignment to box out for Fitzpatrick. Bayan hits his free throw. We'll get a Wakefield timeout as they trail by five, just three minutes into the third.
back out of timeout. It's actually a Watertown timeout. Seems Coach Harrington wasn't happy with the way they started out the second half. At least defensively for the Red Raiders. Their offense still looked well tuned. Burton going to kick out to Beaver. Now Millward pressed by Lobosier. Beaver going to take the shot off the step back, get his own rebound. Millward left in the corner, and he hits it. Jack Millward. That's his first three of the game as we're almost halfway through this third quarter. Millward's shot attempts have been really limited so far. Wakefield only trails by two now. Kabayan out high, gives to Dodokovic. He'll pull up from three. Definitely not shy from beyond the arc as he'll hit another. Beaver inside against Cardi got turned away. Burton, his pass tipped, gets to McDermott still. Dodokovic pressed him outside. Now Beaver inside will get called for a travel. Bossier getting guarded really closely by Marriott. We'll give away Dodokovic back to Lebosier. Bossier with the baseline drive. Bayan misses that one as he'll get sent to the floor. Burton trying to push ahead. Finds Marriott in the corner. Couldn't hit it, but Burton will get the rebound. Now Burton with a three of his own. Hits it, Diari Burton. Huge shot. From the all-star point guard. Wakefield's gonna take a timeout. Watertown lead back down to two. Just under three minutes left in the third now. Wakefield had a little bit of an offensive resurgence midway through this quarter. They only trail by two after trailing by six at half. Seems they've been able to deter the ball from William Cardi on the offensive end for Watertown. As Lebosier with the great reverse finish there, just working his way past Marriott. Watertown definitely not going to give away this lead easy. They've competed hard all game. Let's see here, pressing every Wakefield player who gets the ball. Mid-range shot will miss for Millward. Urban waiting for a play to develop. Bossier, another baseline drive, trying that reverse finish again. Good defense by DeGray. 
That ball pushed ahead. Marriott just couldn't get that pass. And Marriott's going to take a seat now. Declan O'Callahan into the game. As Gabayan went unnoticed in the Wakefield paint for a while there. Shocking how Herbin didn't find him. Now Cardi gives back to Dodokovic. Wabosier going to take a drive and he'll get fouled. That'll be DeGray's second of the game. Herbin looking at Cardi, goes around his screen, gives it back. Herbin goes inside, it'll be stripped away by Burton. They'll call him maybe a foul there. Looks like it'll be a foul on the floor from Diari Burton. From up here, it looked like a clean strip. Perhaps the referee had a better angle. Bossier, another drive, gives out to Herbin. Bossier going to attack DeGray again. Another block from DeGray. Beaver pulls up from the stripe. Won't get it. Millward gets it ripped away. Now Callahan going to get switched on to Herbin. Herbin going to hold for the final shot of the corner. Goes right around O'Callahan. And good help defense. O'Callahan just going to throw it up. That one couldn't go. Wakefield caught their stride a little bit in the midway part of that third quarter. Still trailing by four going into the final eight minutes. Going to be a difficult fourth to try to secure their win. Final eight minutes of action now. Wakefield trailing by four. Looking to get a comeback going. They've had stretches of great offense and great defense, but it's about time they put it together as there's some good defense from Fitzpatrick. And then O'Callahan into Millward. Just barely misses. So close on that and one, the crowd would have erupted, but he'll get two free throws. Been a good shooter from the line, shooting 75% this year. Gonna hit both right there. Back down to a two point Watertown lead as they went for the entirety of the third quarter. Bossier gives to Dodokovic. He'll pull again. Just can't hit that three. He's been good from beyond the arc, though. Shocking the Warriors left him open there. Millward with the drive. The finish and the foul for Jack Millward.
Last time down on the floor, just barely missing out on the end one. This time, he'll secure the basket. And he'll hit the free throw. So a 5-0 run by his lonesome from Jack Miller to start out this fourth quarter. Wakefield's got the lead back. Herbin gives to Dodokovic. Lobosier out high against Marriott. He'll take a drive straight to the basket and he'll get fouled. Look, looks like it'll be on Jackson Fitzpatrick and that's a tough one. He'll have four right now with 6.45 left in the game. Coach Halpin looks like he's gonna stick with Fitzpatrick out there despite just being one foul away from being out of the game. Both free throws will go there for Lobosier. As the lead is flip-flopped again, Watertown with a one-point advantage. Maria in the corner, couldn't get that one to go. He'll get the ball right back though, and stolen away by Herbin. Now Dodokovic will slow the pace. Burton tried to get that steal. Gabayan gives it over to Cardi. We'll go inside. And Beaver will go to the floor, no foul called. Just a big body move from William Cardi. As an ill pass there from Burton, Herbin took it away. Urban taking his time, gives to Dodokovic. Now Lobosier being guarded up by Millward. He'll spin to the basket, Lobosier, and a smooth finish going right around Millward. Watertown lead back up to five now. Millward's gonna pull from deep. Now rebound with Sky over the head, everyone in the paint. Now Herbin gives it to Lobosier. He'll take another drive, trying to finish off glass. Beaver's got the rebound. Wakefield crowd trying to get fired up now. The Warriors trailing. Beaver, the dribble inside, loses it, and picks up a foul. So now Beaver's got three fouls. McDermott's gonna come into the game for Fitzpatrick, who has four. Bobosier <laughs> gives in to Cardi. He'll spin quick inside and get a bucket. Mm -hmm. Watertown lead is at its highest with seven. McDermott can't hit the triple. Beaver with the offensive board. McDermott takes it inside, trying to get it to Beaver. Burton with the catch. Pulls up and hits that one inside the paint. Diari with the two there. Cutting the lead down to five. Wakefield still trailing midway through the fourth.
Final four minutes of play. Gonna get started now. Wakefield has been good on the offensive end, just hasn't been able to hold Watertown on defense. As you see, Herbin with the ball. He hasn't had many shots in this second half. As he'll travel right there, jumping, trying to get that pass off. Maybe just the break Wakefield needed. See if they can capitalize. Burton loses that ball. Will be taken away by Wilbosier. Now Wilbosier with it. Halpin calling for a travel. It won't get it. Dodokovic for three. Can't hit it either. Now that pass tipped away. Warriors got to get more in sync in these final three minutes. Millward will pull up from three. Can't get it. That rebound tipping out. Mari, it recovers it. And Diari Burton trying to keep it in the front court. He just can't. Get that pass to Marriott. Now Burton pressuring Herbin in the backcourt. Dodokovic will take it up. This is a critical situation for Wakefield here. Really needs some stops. Wait. Cardi makes his way through Fitzpatrick. And that's another two. Lead back up to seven for Watertown. Burton almost lost that inside. Moving it around, Beaver left alone. Couldn't hit that one. Urban going to take the drive against Beaver, and he'll get fouled. That'll be the fifth on Fitzpatrick, and he'll have to come out of the game. Urban's going to take two free throws. And both could be daggers right now for Wakefield. As there's just a minute 55 left on the clock. Wakefield going to take a timeout now. Minute 55 left in the game. Coach Halpin really needing some immaculate play on both ends of the floor to make this one work. Urban will have one more free throw here after he made that first one. That one will put Wakefield down by nine. Largest lead for Watertown. It's gonna be tough for Wakefield to battle back from. Millward gonna pull from deep. Couldn't hit it. Saving that rebound was DeGray, a great hustle play, but that pass stolen away by Herbin. End to end goes Herbin, and he'll stunt on that dunk. 
and Mari, it's going to get fouled by Dodokovic. So Herbin really trying to throw down an exclamation point to end this game. Wakefield with another chance here. Marriott from deep. He hits it. Carter Marriott cuts the lead to six. Minute 18 left in the game. Warriors really going to need some tough defense to make a miracle happen. Coach Halpin sending out his best defensive lineup right now, considering Jackson Fitzpatrick's gonna be on the bench for the rest of this game with five fouls. And we're gonna travel there from Lobosier. Turnover was happening either way, whether it was the pass or that travel. And Kevin DeGray is gonna to come to the game. Millward's got to get it in. Now he's got it in the corner, beating guarded up by Herbin. Somehow that tips over. DeGray from deep. Couldn't hit it, and Cardi with the board. That might do it. Let's get a foul there on Millward. Next foul by Wakefield would put Watertown into the bonus. With a minute and a second left in the game. As out of bounds there goes Herbin. No foul called on Diari Burton. Playing some great defense there. It's another critical turnover for Watertown. Beaver. Out to Marriott for three. He can't get it. Trying to get the rebound. And it'll go off of Labossier. Another chance for the Warriors now. DeGray going to take it baseline. Dumps out to Marriott. Burton finds Millward open in the corner. Millward hits the three. Jack Millward cuts the lead down to three. 38 seconds left in the game. What a shot from Miller and a great find by Diari Burton. Watertown bench looking frustrated at the moment. Not happy with the defense and the execution on offense in these final moments of the game.
So inbound play here, Labossier on the baseline. He's got five seconds to get it in. They'll take a timeout right away. Once again, just one foul for Wakefield and there'll be two free throws for Watertown. So now Lobosier set to check it in again. Warriors really needing defensive excellence. Can't give up two free throws right now. As Herbin will get it. The shot clock is on. And that ball will stay with Watertown. Two second difference, almost three between shot and game clock. Watertown's going to take another timeout. As 33.8 are left in the game. So once again, a third inbound attempt now for Lebossier. He gets it into Gabayan, and he'll get two free throws. Gonna be real loud in here when Gabayan gets in the line. Wakefield really hoping for a double miss. Very important to box out Cardi on that final shot. The first one misses for Gabayan. Got a box out, Cardi. The second one misses. Millward's got the rebound. Shot clock turned off. DeGray, ball tipped away by Dodokovic. 24.1 on the clock. Ball into Burton, tipped away. Beavers still got it though. Moves it outside, Millward with the catch. Now Beaver gives it to Millward. He pulls up, he hits it! Jack Millward, bang! He's got the three. Five seconds left to go in the game. Watertown doesn't have a timeout. 
Herbin poked away. And that'll be the end of regulation. Jack Millward, what a shot. We have OT, ladies and gentlemen. What a comeback. Four minutes of overtime, gonna get started now to decide this game. As Cardi got that opening tip. He's gonna be a tough man to guard in these final four minutes, especially considering Wakefield won't have Jackson Fitzpatrick. Dodokovic gonna take the drive, give it over to Gabayan. Now the drive from Obosier. That one will trickle up and through. Fouls don't reset in overtime. Watertown's gonna stay in the bonus for these next three minutes. That pass tipped away. Wabosi almost got it. Marriott with the recovery. Beavers got it. Gets it to Millward. Millward inside. Finishes over Cardi. No foul there, but what a shot from Jack Millward. Bossier gives it in to Cardi. He'll try to body Beaver down and he'll miss the shot. Good tip away there by DeGray to get the board. Millward gets it to DeGray. He can't hit the three. That rebound will go out of bounds off of the foot of Cardi. Wakefield will keep the ball. Burton set to inbound it. Millward with it, guarded up high by Dodokovic. Dodokovic switch on to Burton now. 2-3 zone for Watertown. As Burton goes around the Beaver screen, gets it to DeGray, open in the corner! Can't hit it! And Maria couldn't secure the offensive rebound. Now Wabissier's had it, or Wabossier, excuse me. Herbin finds the Dokovic, he's open, and he hits it. What a shot from Dodokovic. Watertown leads by three, and that's stolen away by Gabayan. Dodokovic has it now. Dodokovic, tentative on that drive, gives it to Cardi. Final minute 30 of the game now. Herbin holding out high, five seconds left on the shot clock, he'll drive on Marriott and hit that. Great finish from Herbin. Wakefield trails by five. Beaver gives to Marriott, back to Beaver. That tipped away. Cardi almost got it, Beaver got it back though. Millward got double teamed, that ball's taken away. It'll be a jump. Looks like it'll stay with Wakefield. Millward gives in to Beaver. Wakefield trailing by five, it's stolen away by Wabossier. Way up ahead is Gabayan. And it'll be a foul on Burton. 
So two free throws for Gabayan with 39 seconds left in the game. His previous time to the line, he missed both, which eventually led to the overtime we're in now. That one to roll through for him. That second free throw misses. Cardi with the offensive rebound. He puts it back up. Won't get it to go. Another offensive board, though, as the time wasn't running that whole time. The game clock wasn't running that entire time. Looks like we'll get a foul on Diari Burton again. And two free throws now for Herbin. That first one goes in for Herbin. He and Dodokovic have really stepped up late in this overtime. That second one will miss. Cardi is on the floor and not getting up right now. But a steal for Mobosier. And Cardi's still on the floor. We're going to get time here. Tough situation here for both sides. Not a good look to be booing right now. Thankfully, Cardi is okay. Coach Halpin doesn't know the situation. Get a timeout for Watertown. That bench is hyped up. 26 seconds left, only the time burying them from a win. A lot of controversy in the final stretch of this game. Watertown really did finish strong though. As Herbin's gonna get the inbound, the shot clock is turned off. A foul there from Burton. 
Two more free throws for Herbin with exactly 21 seconds left. It was a great fight from Wakefield in the final stretch of that fourth quarter, down by nine with a minute left, somehow forcing this overtime. But will come up short in the end through the three by Didokovic that kicked off this run for Watertown that ultimately buried the Warriors in what has been their lowest scoring affair all season. Both free throws went down for Herbin. Burton has it now. Warriors rapidly firing it around. Burton will take the three and hit it. Warriors down by six now with 10.7. Really tough situation. In the words of Kevin Garnett, anything is possible. Bossier trying to pass it in. Herbin will get fouled again. He's got nine seconds left in the game. Get an encore timeout right now. Second one will miss from Herbin. Clock running now. Millward the three, aired it. And that finish from Mari, it won't matter as the Warriors lose by five in a tough one. Lots of heightened emotions in this game. It's gonna be tough to recover from two straight losses like this, but surely they will with this tough roster as they fall to six and three on the season. Still 11 games left to go to find themselves in a high seed in the tournament. As for Watertown, incredible game by them. No doubt some of the best they played this season. Thank you all for watching. I'm Timothy Brown.